welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is ella and today i'm going to be showing you guys my hair care routine and my shower routine plus a lot of tips um but first i'm going to show you my hair care routine shower routine um and then i'll have again a lot of tips at the end of this video i'll put um a time down here for if you are just here for the tips but anyways also this is how long my hair is it's not the longest or it was longer i'll also put a picture here of like what it used to look like because i got a haircut like three inches off at the beginning of i think 2021 yeah like at the beginning so my hair is way shorter but it is healthier so let's get on to my hair care routine every time before the shower i brush my hair and i make sure it's all smooth and there's no knots in it then this is the shampoo and conditioner that i use in the shower then when i get out of the shower i use my microfiber hair towel and you can wrap your hair in it but in this clip i was just drying my hair with it So guys, now that I'm done drying my hair, I like to put in argan oil and a little goes a long way, so I'm just doing a tiny squirt. So once I'm done putting in the argan oil, I'll then put this leave-in spray in, and it is five in one, so it means there's like five different things that it helps with. I can't remember them, and I just do a couple sprays of that. And lastly, I will then brush my hair. So guys, that is it for, I guess, my hair routine. Um, also, I forgot to mention in the voiceover that I try not to brush my hair as much and I use a wet brush. I'm pretty sure I said that. But I try not to brush it as much and I sometimes brush it with a comb then because your hair breaks more when it's wet. So yeah, and it's already, I don't know what time it is, but I know it's getting really late now. So I'll um talk about all the tips tomorrow so i will see you guys tomorrow hi guys so it is now the next morning so it hasn't even been a full day yet of using all those products and taking a shower and i can tell that my hair is not frizzy like at all compared to how it is normally and my hair is so much more softer so i'm going to continue using all those products and they will be linked in the description box but today I'm going to be talking about all of my tips and tricks for your hair and yeah so let's get started. Okay so also the tips will be in like different categories because they're each of them are for like different type of things. So the first category is heat and style tips. So the first tip in that category is try not to curl or strain your hair because if some people do that every day and it's just giving you heat damage and damaging your hair and making it dry so also it's fine i guess if you do it on certain occasions not that much though like if you're going out to eat or something but yeah that's the first tip try not to strain or curl your hair that much the next one is use a scrunchie and a scrunchie if you don't know what it looks like this is what it is it's just like fabric that's way more gentle on your hair and this is good because those other like band hair ties pull out a lot of your hair are and these are just way more gentle on your hair so i recommend using these that's it for the heat and style tips and i know the lighting's already different again the sun already is starting to get covered by clouds but now i'm going to talk about washing tips so washing your hair tips 
So the first one is don't wash your hair that often. And some people may have to wash their hair every day and it kind of depends what hair type you have. Like maybe if you have thin hair, you might need to more. Um, but for me, I wash my hair on Sundays and Wednesdays. It seems to be the days that my hair starts getting greasy and stuff. So I used to just wash my hair every two days but um i thought that was a little bit too much so yeah just try and find a schedule that's right for your hair and when it starts getting greasy next one is use cold slash warm water kind of like lukewarm water and not hot water because hot water will kind of dry out your hair i don't mean using freezing cold water again just kind of warm water and yeah, it will help moisturize your hair and also probably help with a little bit of frizz. Then put conditioner on all of your hair. And this might sound weird because I don't mean like rubbing it in your scalp. Just kind of like go like this and put it gently on the top of your hair and mostly the ends though. But it might help make it even even smoother like up here so yeah i like doing that though this next one is only put shampoo on your scalp basically why you should do this is because the shampoo will run down when you're starting to rinse it out or going under the water and you really don't even need that much just rub it on your scalp and then it will start running down all your hair so this is a way to save more of your product that you use okay this is the last one in this category and it is use the set and what that means is using um the set of shampoo and conditioner in the same brand they seem to work better if they're in the same brand and do more to your hair and have more results with it and i even use the same leave-in conditioner as the brand as my conditioner and shampoo the next category is after shower tips now the first one is don't blow dry your hair and if you do make sure it's like 80 percent dry to 90 percent i'm pretty sure and then there's really like no point because it will almost be dry so i recommend just air drying your hair it will that will make you get more breakage and split ends and it will make your hair frizzy second tip for after shower is use a microfiber hair towel now this will help with breakage and if you're just using a plain cotton towel um that's like mainly for your body it's more likely to cause a lot more breakage so i recommend a microfiber hair towel next is use a comb after the shower now i know i used um a brush but that was a wet brush so if you do like using a brush instead make sure it's like one with soft um bristles or a wet brush Basically why you should use a comb though is because your hair breaks more when it's wet and so combs just don't break it as much. Let's move on to pool tips. So the first one is to put your hair in a braid. And this just basically helps um, with brushing it after. It's not as tangly and you won't have more of your hair just falling out from brushing it. Okay, the second tip for this pool tips is put argan oil in your hair before swimming it can honestly be like any oil coconut oil just to protect your hair before swimming and this will help after with your hair not being that crunchy feeling from the salt water or chlorine and plus it will make it smoother and less harder to just do things with your hair after swimming okay we're almost done with the tips we only have two more so the third one is put fresh water or just um, get your hair wet with fresh water before swimming. This will help um, not have your hair absorb as much as um, the chlorine water or salt water as it does because it will already have a lot of water absorbed in it so it will help your hair not get damaged by the chlorine. Last tip guys and it's for your pool tips obviously is try a co-wash. Basically what this is, is just washing your hair with conditioner, and this is a lifesaver for people who swim a lot or have a pool, because if you know you're gonna go swimming the next day, that day you can just wash your hair, not wash it though, just put it on the ends, um, some conditioner and make it smooth, and 
your hair will be fine until the next day. So that is it for the tips in this video, but I do have some hair products. The first one is the silk pillowcase. This will help your hair just and your skin, it just helps. Um, so yeah, I have one myself, so that will be linked in the description box. Same as the microfiber hair towel I used in this video, that will be linked as well. And just all the products, uh, products I use. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys like, subscribe, and share, and comment down below. Bye guys, I'll see you next week.